Here's the uh, fans that I have in my 88 Mustang 5.0 uh, right now. And it's overheating. Um, I've tried numerous thermostats. I put a new water pump on it, reverse rotation, making sure that was right. So the other water pump was great, but I put a new one on it. Um, this is for 79, let's see, here we go. 79 through 93 five point liter Fox bodies. These are Mishimoto. And we're gonna go down here to, uh, right here, specs. Okay, it used to keep my car uh, cool, but I've added a few upgrades to it, and we're gonna go look at it. So, now, that's, uh, it's got twin fans, so that's 1867 CFM. And this is what I've uh, got coming in. Okay, this has, uh, Bought it through late model restoration. Go over here and look at this one. Okay, now look at this. 3500 CFM. And you also need, if you get this kit, you need this bracket kit right here too. So it's, you know, almost as much as a fan. So, but you need it because it's got. Uh, your pigtails there and your brackets in this tank right here. You're going to need the overflow tank. So it's great. And you're going to have to cut off a couple tabs right here with a little hacksaw, whatever you got. I don't care what you got. I'm going to make mine look good just with a little hacksaw. I'll file the edges off or whatever. But this is what's going on there. And uh, so this is coming in. And that's why I call this part one because I'm gonna, after everything's installed and I'm driving the car around and it's not overheating, um, you know, we'll go from there. I'm gonna install a relay on my new fans. Some people st install two, but I'm just gonna go with the one here, just painless and it's uh, inexpensive. Not hard to do. Here's a, um, they call this a fuse that goes with it or whatever it's called. I'm gonna install that. That's gonna go, oh, here's the car. I'm gonna install that right here. Good place for it. A lot of people install it right back, your relay back here. So I'm gonna do it uh, over here. Okay, here's my Mishimoto with the shroud and all that. It's not doing the job. Got a big radiator, uh, numerous thermostats, and you see that's a new housing and a new water pump. The old, the other water, <coughs> excuse me, the other water pump was great. It was a heavy duty, you know, I got, I got it from Summit or Jags or LNR. Uh, this, and you know, got an numerous uh, thermostats and could not get this thing to stop overheating. So let's fire it up here and uh, this is part one. Stay with me and uh, like and subscribe. I'm trying to make some money here, right? That's why I'm doing this for you. Got the uh, Terminator X kit installed. All the wiring has been redone in this. I don't want a radio. All I want is all business. I want the car to run right and get me around. Be street legal too. I don't want it to be too crazy. 6.86 uh, Holly touch screen right here to go with my Terminator kit. Just plugs right in. It's got GPS. Pretty nice. Here's my here's my fans right here. Start it up here. Needs to be tuned. I'm, as soon as I get it to quit o overheating, I'm going to take it to the tuner. So about 20, 30 miles away. I don't want it to be overheating as I'm going there. So and all the wiring, I'm still going to clean all this up. I'm worried about the overheating issue right now. If you've been there. 
you know how it goes. got gauges here a lot of them and I got this one a mechanical one the car's been running at 210 220 I don't like it I tried everything got also put uh, some uh, it wasn't water wetter I think it was Lucas from AutoZone uh, you know an additive to your antifreeze to cool it down and it helped a little bit but it's still overheating so anyway, without further ado... Hit a lot harder. No air conditioning. I got the dual sink distributor. I have. I couldn't get that working. Again, that's what your tuner is for. He can put it right in and get it started up. But overheating. So this is part one. Hang with me. And uh, once I get the new fans installed, we'll take a ride. 